Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is a bit different from the previous ones. This is not about Microsoft Excel. This is about the dictate and transcribe functions. The useful features of Word for the Web. These are office intelligence services that can help you save time and produce great results by creating a text transcript from spoken words. All Microsoft 365 subscribers can now access to dictate and transcribe in Word for the Web, and the new Microsoft Edge or Chrome browsers are supported. Whether you are a journalist conducting interviews, an office worker attending meetings, or an online business owner documenting casual conversations, you want to be able to focus on the people you're speaking to without having to worry about taking notes or spending hours typing up your conversations after the fact. Just open Microsoft Edge or Chrome, then log in to your Microsoft Office account. If you don't have one yet, you can easily create an account with this link. Once you're signed in, open Word and choose New Blank Document. And under Home tab, you will find this, where you can create a transcript in two ways, Dictate and Transcribe. With the use of Dictate, you can automatically generate a complete transcript from your speech, in-person conversations, or virtual discussions. Word for the Web will transcribe what you say into your document in real time. Second, you can upload existing audio files into Word for the Web and create transcripts from them. Let us go through the Dictate function. To begin, click Dictate, and you'll hear a sound that indicates that Dictate feature has started. And you can see that the words spoken are automatically written here. You can also use voice commands to add punctuation and formatting, such as period, new line. Whether you're stuck waiting in the car, comma, taking a brief walk to stretch your legs, comma, or you simply think better when you're moving, comma, you need to be able to move throughout your day while still getting things done, period. You can stop using the keyboard and start dictating instead with the use of the voice commands of dictate, period. Using the dictate word command to format or change your content will help you stay in the moment and concentrate on your message, period. Stop dictation. You can say stop dictation or click this when you're done. You just speak your mind and let Dictate spell it out for you. Use voice commands so that your thoughts can continuously flow even if you need to make some changes on your content. Example Bold last word Underline last word Pause Dictation at this point, you can answer phone calls or do other things. You might receive the phone call you've been waiting for while working on your paper. There is no need to panic. Just say pause dictation and answer the phone. And click start when you're ready to work on your paper again. Voice commands can add symbols too. Like ampersand. Percent sign, question mark, exclamation point, colon, semicolon, pause dictation. Also useful for informal writing, dictation can add personality to messages on occasion. You may add a little additional touch to your message by using phrases. Let us try and click start again. Smiley face. New line. 
Winky face New line Frowny face New line Pause dictation You can also create a list easily. Reminders Underline that Colon New line Start number list Check emails Next item Call customers with past due accounts Next item Update sales report New line New line You can also create a table Reports Align right Align center New line Add 3 by 5 table Stop dictation There is a wide range of commands that you can use for the dictate function. You will find them if you click Help. Down here, you will see the groups of commands. Click this to open the list of commands related to punctuation. Scroll down for more. And do the same for the other groups of commands. Move up and you will find the supported languages that you can select. You can set your preferences here, like your spoken language and microphone. Remember that you need to have a reliable internet connection and an active Microsoft 365 subscription in order to use this feature. Check also the tips for using dictation here so that you can come up with the right output. The document is automatically saved online, so if you click File, you will only see Save As, where you can download a copy to your computer as Word, PDF, or ODT file. Now let us move to another helpful feature the transcribe function that allows you to transcribe audio recordings into text in Word for the web. To use this feature, aside from a reliable internet connection and an active Microsoft 365 subscription, you also need to have a recorded audio file saved in your computer. For our example, I have recorded a portion of this video and let us transcribe that audio file. Click the drop down and choose transcribe. Click this and select the audio file. The transcription may take a while. Let us leave this window open until it's done. After a while, you have the transcript. Click add to document. And you will be asked if you will add just the text, or with speakers, or with timestamps, or with speakers and timestamps. Let us choose with timestamps to make it easier to locate specific sections of the audio file. After your interview, meeting, or conversation, you can revisit specific parts of the recording by listening to the audio or reading the transcription. And you can easily make any changes or correct any errors. The transcribed text can be easily inserted into a Word document where it can be further formatted and edited. These new voice capabilities will help you to move through your busy day with flexibility. It can save users a significant amount of time and effort compared to manual transcription. Start using the dictate and transcribe functions now and give your keyboard a break.
Thanks for watching. If you find this helpful, please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel.